Mar Zeva. You will live almost everything to go ahead and take the night. Eh, so I would do this band band. You say what she will. He would go and attend the party. He was a unifier in our family. He was a, somebody whom you could depend on, rely on. At every turn of events, he was that type of person. You, you, he, he was um, everything to us. That's why uh, when he decided to go into politics, almost everybody was uh, following him into that route because they, he was iconic. Same thing for Will Affairs. Will Affairs was very important because it was that uh, you know, portfolio which was later on involved in the movement of fighters. Because they were slowly but surely losing faith in, uh, you know, what the whites would say, they were the British government wanted an arrangement that would make sure that the white remained in power for a long period of time. And uh, the policy of amusement. At that time, remember, Algeria was at war with the French, and uh, the British were also being kicked out here and there. In Tanzania, people were fighting for their freedom. It was that air of freedom all over across Africa. Joshua Omo relied heavily on people like Lucida, people like Chikerema, Nandoro, and uh, Mugabe. What is it done? I know you're he's, he's talking about politics. You know, it influenced us. We wanted now to know. Just talking about my country, my soil. Okay, what is it wrong? And those are the things. And uh, when he, we were a bit, uh, you know, uh, mature, we now understood. That, oh, okay. This is why Goku was saying Charwe was doing this. Oh, this is why Goku was saying Dara has been taken and things like that. Okay. These people are like this. Uh, here, there are so many things that were occurring here in Zoya, where uh, blacks were subjected to inhuman uh, you know, treatment. I remember uh, one day when we were finished, you know, the swimming pool in, uh, in, uh, in uh, London, uh, somebody emptied the swimming pool known to the cook, the chef in that house, black men, who so had the habit of you know, taking a plunge every night. And, uh, after a week, he would go and swim, go and you know, dive on the diving board. And known to him, the water had been emptied when he died on the concrete floor and died there. Why? Um, when I went out of the country, um, you know,
don't want to be known that you are related to Bruno because you will not be safe. The, I could not understand, but later on I realized he was right. Um, he was like a brother to me. I did all my military training and went further to Russia, came back under his guidance. A friend also, and my mentor, Miani, these people helped me to survive after this day. But uh, I give credit to this old man because uh, he, he, he was saying to us his father was very tough and he said the toughness of that father is the one that made him whom he was uh, and he didn't want to soften things for us because we become porridge to say and we became a bit tough we became a bit you know uh, you know principle was of his teachings his guidance he was a person who loved his family he was a person who loved his family he was a person who loved his family he is he is uh, you know kick and kick and uh, he was a very simple man, this type of simplicity. You could go to, you could meet him. Our home fields, putting up his wall on his shoulder. If you came, you wouldn't think that you were talking to the vice president. At some point in time, acting president for that man. So, the qualified Sanchez. But when he came here, uh, uh, meeting people like the singer, and uh, learning story, she In 1962, the first group of four cadres was asked to identify people who could go out and you know, start training in Egypt. I 
after uh, settling there, our grandfather, that flower will fit this car. was given, you know, a certain lady from the Kotora family, from the same clan of uh, the Charwe. At that time, he had four elder sisters. So we are about to say to, to celebrate. If you are still alive, we are going to be saying you will be telling the hundred years. There's a full fridge. First, it was the youth league. Later on, And when they were, they decided that it was time for a national, a national consensus on freeing ourselves. The group met at um, this group of sweated man soldiers. Was, 
Serenge and Big Band, PM the NDP, National Democratic Party, Mkomo was the leader of that group. And uh, NDP was banned. Came Zapo. Nsiga in Zapo, he was first in sector of finance, as he used to say. Later on, he became Secretary for External Affairs. <laughs>